you know, you just never know, do you? I bet you that's what the Columbus State guys and, and coaches are thinking. What happened? Because um, that was certainly out of character for us, the offensive explosion that we had. Our previous game against North Georgia, we were about as bad offensively as you could be. 28 turnovers, 3 of 22 from the 3. And then less than 48 hours later, um, we're about as good as you can be offensively. That was as good a first half as I've ever had a team play at both ends of the floor to hold them in the 20s defensively and then to score in the 50s is just unbelievable against a very good team, Columbus State. And they showed it certainly in the second half. They are such an explosive team. I don't know how we played defense, uh, defense as well as we did. And then I certainly was out of character hitting as many shots as we did. But I was certainly glad to see it and really happy for the guys, proud of the guys. I, I know they feel a lot better about themselves tonight than they did the other night. This is probably hard to quantify, but your starting five went for 89 points tonight. Uh, I'm, not, I'm guessing that's probably never happened in your career that the starters would combine for so many. Right. Now, all, all you can say there is heavens to Murgatroyd. Um, and, and Brandon Parker was outstanding tonight. 22 points, uh, he had five assists, played great defense on, on, on those great guards from Columbus. Uh, he just had the, the game of his career. And everybody else, too. You know, poor Judah is w working on one leg. He's got a bad hip and a bad ankle now. He was not even going to play. And he sucked it up and had a really good, solid game for us. And everybody, you know, I mean, everybody really uh, contributed and, and has to feel good about themselves. That's, you talk about mojo and, 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 you know, getting some momentum and all that kind of stuff. That was one of those games that everything went right for us. Yeah, because even midway through the second half, I looked down at the stats computer, and we were shooting 69% from the floor. Right. You know? And we're shooting barely 40% for the year. I was amazed the first half we only had two turnovers. 28 the last game. Let me, let me reiterate that. 14 the first half, 14 the second half. And Columbus is just such an athletic team. They press. North Georgia doesn't even press. Columbus presses. And we only had two turnovers for the first half. So I can't say enough. I, I wish I could put my finger on what the difference was. But sometimes the moon just aligns the right way and the guys get their confidence. I told them at halftime, I said, you really messed up now because I'm going to expect this all the time. Um, so, but I'm, I'm just really happy for the guys. They've had a great attitude. You know, you lose some games. It's tough. But they have prepared well. and They've kept a good attitude. And, and I couldn't be prouder of them. We talked a little over a week ago about the upcoming schedule. So this was our fourth game in eight days. Uh, now we at least have a few days off here before facing Augusta on Saturday. Right. Uh, talk a little bit about how the team will approach that. Do you give them a day off? Yeah, we are. We're going to take tomorrow off Tuesday, and then we'll go at it hard Wednesday. It's good now that we can actually practice and go at each other a little bit uh, we hadn't scrimmaged in a long time, but we did scrimmage before the North Georgia game because I felt like we needed it. Um, we've played a lot of games. You're right. So thank goodness we get a day off tomorrow. Judah and some of the guys who are beat up can rest and get an ice bath. And then Wednesday and Thursday, more importantly maybe, we can really work on some things and go at each other fairly hard uh, on the practice court to get ready for a great Augusta team. I, I thought it was a misprint. They beat Young Harris by like 35 points and – they beat the heck out of somebody again tonight, and uh, they're just a great team. Dip Mitris does a great job. So, but, hey, if the moon aligns the right way again, you never, you never know.